The Cats improved to 10 and 1 and they've won their ninth straight home game and 49th consecutive non-conference game at Memorial Coliseum. Welcome into the show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside the coach. Coach, first you got a very good one against an always tough Middle Tennessee team. No doubt about it. It was a very difficult game and always is. Coach Rick Ensel is one of the great coaches of all time in women's basketball and uh, just does a great job and uh, they're, they're a tough, tough uh, team always, so we were happy to get that, that win. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights at Memorial Coliseum, and there you see Asia Bishop going strong to the rim. Did a really nice job, uh, Asia, driving uh, to the basket. You know, Middle Tennessee always puts stress on your offense because they make you make decisions, and there's Michaela with a beautiful run out. And Michaela's just so gifted, just has such great body control, and uh, those are two really nice plays going to the basket, and she's doing a good job for us and had a good game there. And uh, It was uh, really good to get out and, and uh, get some kind of a lead going after we fell behind a little bit. Uh, we were able to kind of get control of the game by halftime and, and really never relinquish the lead. And so a lot of people got in the act and worked hard, and uh, Asia had a big night on the boards, and there's Lene Harper, just uh, both of them won't quit on the boards, and that really helped us out a lot with our uh, inside game and thought we were able to wear uh, Middle Tennessee down, so that was good. Now on the Belmont, we had a, uh, a tough turnaround, Christy, uh, mm -hmm. just one day to prepare, but I'll tell you uh, who did a great job was Alexis Jennings. You just saw two great finishes from her, and she was SEC Freshman of the Week this week because of her efforts against Middle Tennessee and, and Belmont, and really did a nice job uh, in both games, but uh, there's Janae knocking down a three, and uh, able to really uh, turn back a tough Belmont team. They played really terrific and, and, and got after us uh, really well. So was proud. I thought we made some progress uh, in the Belmont game with some of our younger players. So an, also an injury to report with Bria Goss. Yeah, Bria uh, broke her thumb, and so that's uh, not great news for us, but it could have been worse. It's uh, just, we think, four to six weeks, and uh, she's just such a great player for us and so positive. It'll make others on the team step forward during this time where we don't have her. So I really think our team can benefit if we handle it the right way and if our uh, players will step up and get better in all the areas where we can improve, I think Bria will come back to a stronger team and uh, help make her senior season special. We're looking forward to having Bria back. Well, she's having a sensational sophomore season. She's becoming a star of this show and she's on Coach Mitchell's 30 Second Shot Clock. The 30 Second Shot Clock is brought to you by Fayette Heating and Air. 30 Second Shot Clock this week. Welcome in, everybody. We are joined by someone you've been seeing a lot on the show, the brand new star of the <laughs> Guitar Tip of the Week and also playing some good ball. It's a sophomore guard from Marion County, Kentucky, Michaela Epps. How are you? I'm good, Coach. So everything's going pretty well? Going good. Academics? Going good. Working hard? On the come up. What is this? What is the toughest course to study for right now? Anthropology. Anthro that anthropology 160s causing the Wildcats some difficulties. Yeah. I don't know if y'all are studying hard enough. Are you? We are. We are. We're on the come up. We're okay. Come up. Okay. Okay. Shifting gears now into the interesting things. Nobody wants to talk about academics on 30 second shot clock. Uh, we've talked a little bit about Turtle Turtle Man in Marion County, and some people think it's a joke and don't think that you've really seen or, or ever met him in person. Is it true? Let's let's settle it. For once and for all on 30 Second Shot Clock, have you ever personally met the man? I have personally met Turtle Man. And is it Ernie Johnson? or Ernie Brown. Ernie, Ernie Brown, Brown, and he's deep in the backwoods. Deep in the backwoods. What's he like? Is he like he is on the show? He's exactly like he is on the show. And Kyvin, your classmate, does a pretty good impression of him. She does the best impersonation of him. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you get studying for the Anthropology 160. All right. But you're doing a great job. Thank you. And we can't wait to watch her play some more ball. That's Co uh, Michaela Epps. I'm Coach Mitchell. 30 seconds. Shot clock. Well, I'm going to steal a term from Michaela. I'm going to start using we're on the come up. I like that. We're on <laughs> yeah, the come up. Yeah, yeah. Michaela's doing great things at UK. She is. And, Christy, she's such a talented player. And I really think that she has a chance to have a great career at Kentucky. She's a big part of this year's team, and uh, I think the sky's the limit for her. She's very, very good. We're happy she's at Kentucky. No question. Going to have a great career as a Wildcat. Well, coming up, we're making Christmas wishes come true on the Guitar Tip of the Week. That's next. Stay with us. The Matthew Mitchell Show is presented by Fayette Heating and Air.
and is brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger. another edition of Guitar Tip of the Week. I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined for another scintillating episode by the dynamic duo, members of the Marion County Mafia, Cliven Gooden Rogers, Michaela Epps. How we doing, ladies? Doing good, Coach. Boy, we're off to a great start. You guys are becoming big TV stars. Why are you holding a bat? Uh, for you, Michaela. Oh, well, what, are you giving it to us as a present or something? No, sometimes y'all don't act right. Uh-oh. And you might hit us with the bat? It's well, I'm going to try to do my part real well. Let's get on to the game show that's sweeping the country. Ask Kyvin and Michaela. The question is from Denise Carl, who lives in Alexandria, Kentucky. Denise's husband has a guitar, ladies, and he can even play open E. And wants to know, is there a scenario in which you could explain that her husband could co-host the Guitar Tip of the Week? Yes or no? No. Are you sure about that? No. Do you want to change your answer? No. On to the shout-outs to Luther in Anchorage, Alaska. To Brenda in Frankfort, Kentucky, she loves to watch Sailor Rose dance in the game. That's because. not supposed to happen because dancing's forbidden in my household. Coach, you dance every year at Big Blue Madness. Well, I may need to relax that policy. We may need to let Sailor Rose dance. Keep dancing, Sailor Rose. To Barbara Spe Sears, Barbara Sears in Williamsburg, Kentucky, faithful watcher of the uh, viewer of the show. Her mother, Phyllis, all she wants for Christmas is a guitar tip of the week T-shirt. We're going to see if we can make that happen for you. To Rhonda Faye Ashley out in Pahoa, Hawaii, who likes to watch our gals control the boards and steal the ball. And she DVRs the show every week, and the show gets better and better. Rhonda Faye, don't you have something better to do out in Hawaii than watch the Matthew Mitchell show? Good grief. Get outside every now and then. Epps, take it away. To Cat Floyd in Paducah, who not only has a cool first name, but loves the Lady Cats and the Matthew Mitchell show. To Amy Warren in Louisville, Kentucky, who wants to send a shout-out to Maddie P. And Barry in Louisville. What's up, Maddie P. and Barry? And to Turtle Man and Ernie Brown. That's what you call a shout out right there. What I up? got you. I got you. All and right. to Turtle Man, Ernie Brown, and Squirrel, who both live deep in the backwoods of Marion County. Kyvin. To Rod Beck and his wife, Sandy of Louisville, who had a great time with the youngster and watching the cats beat the cards. And then what, what do they want to say? What do they want to say to Coach Mitchell? And Coach Mitchell, Rod right. wants to know if he can take you out to the river to see the Bubba Gump shrimp boat the next time you're in Louisville. I didn't know there was a Bubba Gump shrimp boat in Louisville. Did you two know that? No, I did. It's amazing. I would love to go, Rod. That's so that's so kind of you. And what, what's last there, Kyden? And to everybody's favorite uncle, Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallatin, Tennessee. Absolutely. We love everybody's favorite uncle. The T-shirt this week is going to go to Barbara Spears' mom, Phyllis, because that's all she wants for Christmas. And you see it, Facebook page. Yeah. No, you don't. Listen, write into us. Interact with us. You might get you a shirt. Michaela Kive and Coach Mitchell, Guitar Tip of the Week. John, you talk a lot about Coming up, Bria catches up with an inspirational author and speaker who was in Lexington to help benefit a very special cause. Behind the Blue is next. And uh, just has a beautiful... Being a student athlete is tough. But there are many opportunities that we experience that we will never forget. This season, we had the pleasure of meeting John Maxwell. Maxwell is an author and a motivational speaker that shares his knowledge about leadership. He was in town for the promotion of the Mitchell Family Foundation and gave us a little advice before he got back on the road. Check it out. Hey guys, it's Behind the Blue with Bria. I'm here with Dr. John Maxwell. He came to our campus today and decided to talk to the women's basketball team, and we're so excited for him to be here. Um, 
John, can I call you John? Oh, absolutely. That's what my mama called me. Great. <laughs> if mama calls me that, you can call me that. Great. Um, John, you talk a lot about your dad. Do you think you got a lot of your inspiration from him? Oh, totally. Uh, he's been my lifetime mentor. He's 92. He still works and uh, just has a beautiful attitude about life, loves people, great encourager. And, uh, yeah, he's... My motto, I've always said, when I, when I get old, I want to be just like him. Well, well great. We'd love to meet him one day. Um, also, um, you talked about watching us on TV, but could you please come back to watch a game? Oh, I will. I would love that. Are you inviting me to come back? We're definitely inviting you. Can but I sit behind the bench? Of course. <laughs> can but I maybe send uh, in, in the coach, uh, uh, Mitchell, can I maybe send in a, a play or two? Please, um, if you want to come in at halftime, then come in and give us some, some words of wisdom. We might need it. <laughs> this is good. No, I don't think you'll need it, but it'll be fun for me. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, thank you. Well, you're here with, with Behind the Blue. This is Dr. John Max. We were so excited for him to be here today. Go Blue. Go Blue. Leadership skills can be used anywhere. And Max will open our eyes on how we can be successful on and off the court. UK Hoops will continue to grow and be great leaders. Coming up, the Mitchell family will, be, will get you in the holiday spirit with a little help from Sailor and Presley. The Coach's Kitchen is next. Brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. It's a... Ho, 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 Merry Christmas edition of the Coach's Kitchen. I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, Hall of Fame chef, joined by my beautiful bride, who is a celebrity chef, not Hall of Fame, but celebrity chef, Jenna. And Jenna, who else do we have with us today that we are shamelessly exploiting oh my gosh, on television? Christmas. It's Christmas. It is, what's your name, young lady? Sailor. Sailor what? Sailor Mitchell. Uh, can we speak clearly, please? Sailor Rose Mitchell. Mitchell. Middle name after Victoria Dunlap. Yeah. If Victoria Dunlap hadn't started playing well, we wouldn't have this TV show right now. Exactly. Or maybe we would have a TV show. We just wouldn't be coaching. I'm not sure. But this little one right here who's trying to get the Santa cap, why don't you say hello to everyone? Isn't this a great idea? Aren't you already enjoying this edition of the Coach's Kitchen? It's Presley Blue, and Presley, I'm gonna have a blue Christmas if you take off my Santa cap. Now, we are getting ramped up. It's Christmas week, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Christmas is gonna be, is it Friday? I think so. Thursday or Friday of this yeah. week. <laughs> and we're looking forward to that. And so, Jenna, you, for the Coach's Kitchen, we've got something great here planned. What do we have? We have chocolate cake in a mug. Chocolate cake in a mug. Yep. Is that like hot chocolate? No, it's How not. do you put a cake in a mug? Well, Have you ever heard of this? Yes. I've never even heard of such a thing. Well, ho, ho, ho. Oh, my goodness. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah pretty funny, isn't it? See? Say the thing, I'm funny. Okay. Is anybody time in this segment? Well, All right, good. Okay, are, are you done talking? I'm ready. Okay. So the first, first step, step say, looks look, like some baking powder. Put the flour. No, oh, here, flour. Here, yeah, just there like we go. There. I hope okay. Sailor okay. has. Can stir for me. I hope she's got a clean tool. Okay, Matthew, I hope her we're hands trying are clean. to learn, teach people how to make chocolate okay. cake. Is that stevia? Life. No, that's sugar. Oh, sugar. Uh, I'm on no sugar diet, so I use stevia. Well, since it's sugar, no one can hear me because someone else is talking. I just said uh, I'm on a no sugar diet. I use okay. stevia. Two tablespoons of cocoa. Cocoa. Yeah. Uh, Mix you know, it really well. uh, so mix all the dry ingredients. You're doing great. Now we're gonna add one egg. One egg. egg. That, Sailor. Sailor, say egg. 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 Yeah, just like your mom. Now uh, three tablespoons of milk. Oh, no, Hold on, no, no, no. I need you to stir. I need you. I need you to stir. Sailor, I think you should take over at this point right now. Okay. Yeah, let, let her do it. All right, now put that in. Bessie, here's okay. a spoon. Now instead of oil, you can use three oh. tablespoons of oil. Or three tablespoons of applesauce. Oh, now, that sounds great, oh doesn't my goodness. it? You three tablespoons of applesauce. Okay. Put that in there. In your chocolate okay. cake in a mug. Put it in. I don't know that I've ever heard of anything more gross than that. Oh my gosh, it's a normal substitute. Why are you for putting oil? applesauce when we could have some good vegetable oil? Because it's a healthy in, um, substitute. The kids for being on set are here. really cutting down on my here, chances for comedy this week. I'm not really having much of a chance. All I want for Christmas is a chance to tell some of my jokes. I bet. And now the kids have taken over, and they're just so adorable, no one's even paying attention to me now. And it's called the Coach's Kitchen. Who's the only attention? person on the set that's a coach? Have they been paying attention to you before? 
Honey, it's one of the most award-winning shows in the country, and this segment you're is great. the highest rated. And you think it's a surprise? No, it's not a surprise. I'm on the show. Well, what's the? All right, we're running out of time here. Oh, what are we? Goodness. What are we doing here? We're stirring. Yes, we're Isn't stirring. Isn't this great television? Okay. Now, aren't you enjoying um, this? Oh my gosh! Merry Christmas, all. Okay, now here. you put it in the mug and put it in the microwave for three minutes, and um, let it sit though for a couple minutes before you uh, try to eat it. And so we'll can... be we'll be right back yes. with the results. All right, we're back. I failed to mention that the Coach's Kitchen is sponsored by McGee's Bakery in Lexington. And this is something yummy, some sweet treat that you'd get at McGee's. Not nearly as good as McGee's, but, but you know, what what we do now? We had this in the microwave for a couple minutes. Now we're ready yes, to taste. Yes, and normally, I don't know, I should have been like higher. You don't know, say that. That makes you look bad. That makes you look bad. Don't say that. Can I have but a bite? But I'm also letting people know in case. Can I have a bite real quick? We're running out of time. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Well, well, you'll have to get over that. Can you tell everybody Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Well. And Happy Holidays. You see that Facebook page? I do. There you go. We hope you all enjoy the holiday season. We wish you the very merriest of Christmases. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for watching The Coach's Kitchen. And what are we going to tell the good folks out there? We'll see you next week. Right. Sailor Rose was not too pleased with Coach taking her bite. Well, coming up, we'll show you some drills you can do anywhere by yourself to start becoming a better ball handler. Hey, Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners, Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics, and Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. The tip of the week is brought to you by Window World the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Coaches Tip of the Week this week, welcome in everybody. It's the time of the show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I'm joined by point guard, junior from Chicago, Illinois, Janae Thompson. Thanks for helping us out today, Janae. Have you ever seen someone play? I've seen Janae play great ball handlers they look so comfortable with the ball it just looks like the ball is part of their their hands and they look totally comfortable and that is very very important as you talk about ball handling and we're gonna we're gonna start a ball handling series this week and as a young player I want to tell you the more time you can spend with the basketball the more comfortable it's gonna feel in your hands the more comfortable and confident you're gonna be as a player so let's start with the very basics. You can do this in your bedroom. You don't have to dribble the ball. You can just work <clears throat> on some stationary ball handling stuff. And so when Janae gets it, she can just get it in her fingertips right there. Just real simple things like this. You're not bouncing the ball. You don't have to uh, disturb your parents. You can just move. You can slap the ball right there, get some blood going in your hands. That's really good. And then here's one good thing that you can do. Go quick around your head. Just get the ball moving. Get the ball moving, then reverse it, then reverse it. Then you can go around your waist, then you can go around your waist. Just things like this, then reverse it. Then Janae's just trying, and you're just trying to get as quick as you can. Now go around your ankles, working hard around your ankles. Then you can reverse it. And then the last thing, around the world, we go around our head, around our waist, and you're just moving, and you're just getting comfortable with the ball. So real simple things, just like this. You're in your bedroom, you're in your garage, where the weather's that bad outside, you can't get outside and work. You can do a lot with the basketball, just working stationary right there. And when you're young, getting comfortable with the basketball, and that's gonna approve dividends for you as you continue to progress as a player. And that's the coach's tip of the week. The tip of the week was brought to you by Window World the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Coach, you're number one in the country in RPI. Tell us what that means. Well, it means we played a tough schedule, and if we can keep that RPI high, we can get a great seed in the NCAA tournament, so it's very beneficial. Absolutely. Well, best of luck to you with that. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was presented by Fayette Heating and Air and was brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger.